Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Exquisite Beauty MUA. Today we are going to be doing our monthly boxy charm. This one is for the month of February. I'm hoping that I can get this up on time for you to actually see it in February. <laughs> boxy charm has been doing a lot of stuff differently and honestly I'm not like too thrilled about it. Um, I guess it's saving paper but um, this month they actually sent you a virtual card. Um, I like keeping mine. I don't throw them away but I guess some people don't and it's a waste of paper. So this mentions uh, the theme for the month, the products that are inside the box, what they do, and what they retail for. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. And the first product that I do want to mention is uh, going to be uh, this one. Now this one is going to be the QMS Intensive Eye Care Day and Night Cream. So you can use this both at day and night. And this has half of a fluid ounce, that's 15 ml and this one retails <coughs> wow <coughs> sorry I just saw the price on this this retails for hundred and thirty two dollars holy crap the active ingredient in this complex enhanced eye care helps to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles whilst hydrating and lifting the skin. Natural silk, silk acacia and sigabacea and sigus bacia orientalis extracts provide a powerful anti-aging combination that helps boost elasticity, smooth out wrinkles, and reduce dark circles and puffiness, which I am all about that. I actually haven't used this so so I'm gonna go ahead and use this on camera. I probably should have done this like a while ago that way I can let it sit into the skin but just so you can see what the actual product looks like it's a very white and creamy consistency and I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of it and applying that to my ring finger and let me zoom you in so that way you can see me applying it and this is a trouble area for me because I do have fine lines under my eyes it's a little bit of a pain I've learned to deal with it but if I can help it out in any sort of shape or way then I'm gonna do it it feels very creamy very hydrating one can never have too many eye creams I can't believe that that one retails for that much it's insane how crazy skincare prices are and the next product that I do want to mention is going to be this one this one is by pure it's the four-in-one correcting primer it's an energize and rescue with aloe coconut water and probiotics it's supposed to be silicone free and on the back here at the bottom I did notice it says cruelty paraben vegan friendly gluten free and talc free I wasn't initially going to to use this but now that I'm looking at all the products I'm actually a little bit curious to see how this is gonna apply and as you can see I already did my eye makeup so we actually don't have an eyeshadow palette for once <laughs> and our monthly boxy charm that's actually a surprise because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I don't even know what to do with I actually want to start doing a little series of to keep or to get rid of because there's some shadow eyeshadow palettes that I'm actually like that aren't my favorites but at a later time all right so I'm just gonna be taking this onto my fingers and it is just a white consistency and it does smell like coconuts which is really good and I'm just hoping that this doesn't break out my skin too much because I actually just started getting it back in order because I was breaking out so much I had run out of my Tatcha moisturizer, the water cream and I just said, you know what, I need to get it and a couple of days of just using it has my skin looking so much better so I love the way that this smells I'm trying not to put that too close under my eyes because I still have that cream there. This smells so good. And just looking at my virtual card, the Pure Cosmetics Primer retails for $17. It says this 4-in-1 correcting primer energizes and rescue will become your must-have beauty tonic and primer for your best and worst skin days. Packed with good for your skin ingredients such as probiotics, aloe, caffeine, and coconut water, this primer helps smooth and soothe your skin and let's see how the tinted moisturizer ends up applying over that the next product that I want to mention look at these 
beauties. These are the Alamar three-piece brush set. They're their new brushes and on them it tells you what they are for. So we have a bronzer brush, a complexion brush, and a brightening brush. They are so soft. Holy moly. And this one, they're like little ridges on there. This one is the bronzer brush. It's going to be interesting to see how that one applies. And let's just see how much they retail for. And this set retails for $36. I am going to be using, of course, my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Fresh. <laughs> My ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the color Medium Dark 13W. And just giving that a good shake. I'm going to be applying some onto the back of my hand. And just applying this onto my skin. And I did use like a pump and a half. So I can get a little bit of an extra coverage. I mean again, this is just a tinted moisturizer. So this is not going to give you crazy coverage. But it does give you like a nice little sheen. I am gonna be taking my It Cosmetics. This is the Love is a Foundation brush. I love using this to apply my moisturizer and just blending that into my skin. And I love using this because it's not too heavy. It can barely feel it and it gives you like a nice glow to the skin. It's absolutely stunning. And I absolutely love setting this with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. It smells like coconut I love that scent. It smells so good and it just gives it that final beautiful finish to the skin. And next I do want to use my Pretty Vulgar Concealer and this one is in the color Undercover 63, the middle ground. And I absolutely love using this because it's very hydrating. It doesn't leave me dry or cakey underneath my eyes which like I said I need the hydration because got fine lines under my eyes and I can't be dealing with all of that. And I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques sponge and I'm just going to be spraying it with some of that ColourPop Pretty Fresh setting mist because I don't feel like getting up and just blending that out. And just taking a little bit more of that concealer so I can even out my highlighted areas a little bit better. Not too much is needed, but just to cover up some of those necessary spots. I have some breakouts that I'm still recuperating from, so a little extra coverage in those spots will help out. Next, let's go into uh, the next product. And this one is going to be the Ciate Everyday Coconut setting powder. These coconut smells are absolutely everything. And this is what the product looks like right there. It's got this beautiful cover, almost like a mirror. It's really, really cute. And just opening this up, it's got a sifter on it. Thank God we all know how horrible I am if these things don't have that. So that's the product right there. And I'm actually going to be taking the brightening brush from All of Mark Cosmetics. Let me go ahead and put the cover on so that I can get some of that product out. And I always mess this up. Tell me why. I have no clue. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. All right, let me lightly tap this and set under my eyes. And I have to admit that this is the perfect brush to get right up under there. Now, the reason I don't like setting under my eyes with a loose powder is because it tends to dry them out, which that's exactly what it's doing right now. Not the look I want to go for, but it is what it is. I'm just going to be grabbing a Morphe Y1 brush just so that I can get the rest of my face and lightly tapping everything just to set everything down. I don't mind this over the rest of my face, but just under my eyes is always what concerns me because that's what tends to dry out. And with my fine lines, it's not a good look. So to be honest, I like this around the rest of my face, but not under my eyes. The only powder that I found that works really good is the Becca Hydrating Powder, I think it's called. When you apply it, it almost feels like you're applying something cold onto your face. It's the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is absolutely amazing. This is the only one that I think that I found works really good under my eyes. And let's see how much that Ciate powder retails for. It retails for $22. 
and it says that the finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooths over makeup and crease, crease free soft focus finish with no flashback the no flashback part is essential especially if you want to do if you're doing professional photos or for your wedding day that's very important because you don't want that flash to come up in photography so around the rest of my skin it looks good but the crease free under my eyes I don't think that's true so I am gonna be taking a little bit of some bronzer I'm gonna use the Milani this is the silk matte bronzing powder it is in the color suntan and I am gonna be taking that bronzer brush And I'm just going to be taking my Olimar Cosmetics Colore de Blush Trio. And I'm going to be taking some of this color Seclusion right there. It's only right to use this with the Olimar brushes. And I'm actually using the complexion brush. It's a little bit of an angle. And I'm going to be using this to apply my blush. And just using some of the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist to set my face. I had the fan on the whole time and did not realize. I just hope that didn't mess with the audio too much. And the last product that I do want to talk about is going to be this one. This is by Kat Von D and this is the Cake pencil it's in intensely rich eyeliner and uh, this is in the color trooper black and you can never go wrong with a black liner which for me I absolutely love this is what the product looks like right there I love that black and gold packaging I'm so I'm such a sucker for that <laughs> so let's apply this onto the waterline and see how it looks hopefully it lasts a long time And that just applied on beautifully I didn't have to go over it too many times as you can see it's on there and I love love black black liners <laughs> and that Kat Von D eyeliner pencil retails for $19 it's 100% vegan free and it says that this unprecedented creaminess intensely rich color and budge resistant waterproof long wear in a hundred percent vegan liner now you don't have to choose between luscious creamy comfort and true performance so let's see hopefully it lasts a long time it's 2 53 in the afternoon right now so i'm interested in seeing how long it lasts and i'm just going to be applying some mascara i'm going to use my too faced better than sex mascara and for my lip color i'm just going to be using my ofra cosmetics this is in the color verona i've been using a lot of products today that i've gotten in my past boxy <laughs> boxes Alright guys, so here is the final look using all of the products that we received in this month's BoxyCharm. Well, I'm going to be honest, sometimes I'm a little skeptical about the products I receive. I'm like, oh, well, hey, they don't look that great this month. And you're kind of hoping you get something else, but they actually surprised me. I love how everything worked out at the end. I was actually surprised about the Pure Cosmetics Primer. I didn't think I was going to end up liking that. But my favorite product was the Kat Von D Liner just because I love Love a good black liner for this month's box it retailed for $226 insane I think that's got to be the most expensive regular boxy charm that I've gotten out of the top of my head I think I think that's the most expensive again the most expensive products in here was $132 so that's 
almost half of the box right there but again they're sending you these products might be the actual size or might be the travel size i'm not sure because last month's box they did end up sending us the watermelon sleeping mask and that was the travel size because i ended up seeing it at sephora and it was the smaller version so so much for the full sized products that that's what makes boxy charms so different from other monthly subscription boxes they're changing up a lot of things nonetheless it's still a great bargain because you're getting all of these different products you get to try them out so if you are interested i will leave the link down below and yeah guys i hope that you did enjoy today's video if you did remember to leave it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed i would love for you to join us remember always be grateful always be thankful and i will catch you on the next one bye